Ivy here from UP Manila. Before we really dive into the three simple approaches for engaging and motivating students, let me just share to you a short background about the class that I handled for this purpose. First, it is for an analytical chemistry lab class of 13 students. So it's a relatively small class size. Second, all of my students have stable internet connections and so the use of an online learning management system, that is Canvas for my case, is not a problem. Let's uh, start with approach number one. Create and organize vision boards on your homepage. I think one of the best ways to gain control of your class is to seize your first day. I made it a point that before publishing the course, students will already imagine how they will end the course. This is my homepage for this given course. If you notice, I included individual panels for all activities, um, which these panels will serve as their guide or some sort of vision. Now, clickable lahat ng panels from the course guide to their assigned lab partners to the first module and even their exams. This one up to the end of the course. Now for this part, it is also very helpful to include your introductory message here. So let me show you a portion of my introductory video. Uh, you can be more personal with your students. Like, sabihin mo sa kanila anong meron sa course, ano yung important requirements ng course, etc. And also, let me share to you a feedback from a student right after seeing the homepage and watching the video. Uh, this is the feedback from one of my students. Sabi niya, I watched the first video, I feel the effort, the course intro, and appreciate niya then even yung office chair na ginamit ko. Sabi niya, I was so scared about remote learning, now parang kaya naman pala. Uh, less intimidating yung dating kahit dami ng content. Approach number two. Use interactive tools to deliver your lessons. For my case, I use um, Edpuzzle. Uh, this tool allows one to create interactive online videos by embedding um, either open-ended or multiple choice questions, um, pwedeng audio or comments on a particular video. So here, makikita natin yung mga embedded questions. For this lecture, I have um, four. Apat lang naman na questions yung nilagay ko. Ayan. So, there is a question here which is the oxidized form of the analyte. So, while discussing my questions and students can um, uh, put their answers here, they can also rewatch and until matapos nila yung uh, video. In addition, students also appreciate the uh, use of Edpuzzle. So, one of the comments uh, from student, I think that the integration of Edpuzzle in online lecture is effective. It enhances our learnings by adding more interaction and mot motivating us to study the video lectures themselves and not just by merely watching them. I found it very effective, especially in its integration of questions during the video. This, for me, makes watching the lessons more interactive. Alright, so another uh, comment, it was um, effective as it helped me concentrate on the matter being discussed rather than mindlessly listening. Approach number three, use other form of assessment aside from written exams. In my case, I used oral exams since um, I have a relatively small number of students and an oral exam is really possible. And in this form of assessment, students are really well engaged. And of course, less worry about you know, copying and all sort of, uh, let's say, cheating. This is the recorded portion of the oral exam. Uh, I used the breakout room feature of Zoom with one student per room answering the respective sets of questions during the allotted time. Uh, again, this is feasible since I only have 13 students for this class. I hope that you get something useful in this short video and I'm looking forward to learning from yours too. Thank you!